There we go. Perfect. Um. Sure. Okay. So the shortcut key for that is working. <clears throat> oh, and it has controller support. Yes. There's dialogue. I didn't want a dialogue game today. Mm, fuck. Listen. I know you're eager to explore, but the pilgrimage is important to the people of the sky. I hope, it, I hope I'm loud enough. As you know, in the early days before the Great Divide, the lands were very different from now. Instead of islands in the sky, the lands were one, and the ancients inhabited the world. They built great structures, among them three temples here in the land of gods. Your journey will lead you to all three of them. But something changed. The ancients somehow caused the Great Divide, shattered the lands, and left us with islands in the sky. The priestess Kara prayed by the lighthouse and found answers that helped her people survive the Great Cataclysm. First stop for every pilgrim is to visit Kara's shrine. So go on in, Ak. I will wait for you outside. Oh, that is loud. That is very loud. can't alright hopefully I can adjust volume later Try that. Maybe a little bit louder. the art style. Still very pretty. The memory of light is in our heart, shining with the name of Kara. Her lantern guides and guided and protected us when the world shattered and we became the people of the sky. Hey, 
Hey, Pat. Need those today. <laughs> Enter the Hall of Memory, where sleeps the light of Kara. Never went out while she was alive. Ask, and maybe it will shine forth to answer you. Hi, Pengu. How are you doing? How was Sea of Thieves last night? Hope these lanterns will burn long enough to guide the young pilgrim. Run, I really want to play some more. Yeah, I, I like Sea of Thieves, but only with friends. I tried it twice on my own, and it was miserable. I'm glad you had fun. What are you up to today, though? More work. <laughs> yeah, I'm... I'm really glad that I ended up taking the d this week off because I ended up so... <laughs> feeling like crap so bad. Um... I don't know. Currently, currently this one's my only planned game because I didn't have many. I wanted to. I'm still feeling kind of crappy. I want something chill to play, and this is the the only chill game that I had installed at the moment. So I'm still thinking about other games. I feel like this isn't going to be a very long one, so I'm going to need to come up with something else. Um, maybe golf with friends if I can get some people together. Uh, 
Sorry about that. Ah, oh, you made it out okay? Thank the gods you're all right. What happened in there? I thought the worst when the cave collapsed. Is that... All right, yeah. Uh, maybe I'll... Maybe I'll advertise early in, uh, in your Discord. See if anybody wants to join. I haven't been getting many results the last couple times, but it never hurts to try. I mean, usually I end up with the multiplayer games at night specifically because of that. I have been. Every day. I've used it three times in the last week. Cat, can I can I get to my keyboard for just a minute, please? I love you. How many meetings do you end up having a day? Because you always seem to be in meetings. Is that the lantern? Hmm, strange. That lantern is an ancient artifact called Kara's Light. Somehow it shines for you. The first time in generations. Keep it safe for now. I'll stay here to investigate the shrine. Meanwhile, you should continue your pilgrimage. There's a village over by the lighthouse. Let's follow the kites to get there. Talk to Dana when you arrive. She will tell you where to go next. Okay, this is kind of cool. Wow, you build up speed when you start going downhill, downward. Mm. You're right, Ock. It was Ock, right? Heard rumblings from Car's shrine. So glad you made it out. My name is Dana, and welcome. 
It was a long time ago we had a pilgrim here. Your mentor, Medvin, was actually the last one before you. The parents helped him back then. Now I, John, and our daughter Erin will help you. If you ever feel lost, just return here and talk to us. We are here to guide you after all. Every pilgrim's journey requires a visit to the three temples in the land of gods. Aro sealed them a long time ago, right after the Great Divide. There's a sigil in the ground close to each temple. That's where we gather to pay respects to the spirits, and so you two should go there. Sacred words are revealed to those who approach with an open mind. The eventide sanctuary is closest, and you will find it northwest of here. self-proclaimed god reaches too far. I hope he stretches himself too thin. Oh, you so you are so fluffy. Mama? Oh, the little baby. I got an achievement called Mama. It thinks I'm its mommy. So cute. They're so fluffy. I want to pet them. They look so soft. I'm Yu Hall of the Southern Isles. This is my third and final record of my travels in the land of gods. I happened upon the fox just as I was about to leave for home. He sat in the middle of the road and seemed to laugh silently, as if to some hidden joke. He spoke in anger. My people are dying. Why is this happening? He smi his smile seemed sad. The darkness within called to the darkness without. Heal your people to be healed. This is not your path, Yu Hall. I did not know what to say. I stared after him as he left. Ugh. Later I realized he was right. It was not my path, but one for my whole people. As I passed the Twilight Lake, I met with Kara for the first time. She showed me the Eventide Sanctuary and asked me to gather everyone I knew. This is the refuge we had hoped for. I will journey home again and I will guide my people here. I will see my only child, Rhea, again, and I will bring her hope.
Hope for our people was restored by the wisdom of her words and the refuge she gave us. Spirit animals helped her hide the way in, behind falling waves marked by sun and moon, in the cloak northeast. Close northeast. <clears throat> Other, what answers could you possibly hope to find in these broken lands? to rest in that tower. Sun. Oh, okay. So I was in the right area. Just need to unlock it first.
discovered the vault. <clears throat> Am I supposed to be unlocking a vault? I feel like if it was locked, it might want to, it may be supposed to stay that way. Oh. I was right. It was the pattern on that other island's tower thing. in here. friendly? Hello, little wanderer. You took your time. Were you perhaps led astray, or just followed by the slow one? I think his name is Medvin. Slow as few shifters I have met, but sharp, intelligent. You want, do you know what it is you found? You hold both light and key to help you it lead, to lead you into twilight, both dusk and dawn, I believe. Southwest of here, there is a temple, a silhouette of the setting sun. You will find more answers there. Go now, bird faster than Medvin. <laughs> uh. Secrets await you in the deep. Seek counsel from the ones who slumber. Southwest? Where did you want me to go? I don't remember. <laughs> Memory go poo poo. Oh, and they're gone. They won't give me the answer again. Are these clouds? Can I jump through these? I can. That was kind of cool. I don't think they have any power left. brother stayed to guard the lighthouse, and I volunteered to join him on in his duty. To guard the land and its animals, even if I do not understand why the priestess wants us to stand guard. 
Are the gods truly sleeping in this land, and we are to guard them? And then, but why then are they asleep? Can gods even sleep? I think this is just a ch story for children. The gods are long gone from our world, and their lands now belong to the spirits and the animals. But names stay longer than the memory of a face. We made it. We'll be safe here. Twilight Guardian opened her eyes at the light of sun and moon, shining together. She sat down and calmly took both in her sky hands, bringing balance to light and shadow. With her right hand, she releases the sun to let people back from the dream. With her left, she flings the moon into the night sky so that people may dream at all. She's the heartbeat of the seasons, at the center of the world, the breath of life and order. Look at that. Fishies. supposed to go that way so we're gonna go this way first okay well this is the uh, curious
I hit jump. Did I break my A key again already? Man has paws that cannot run, but chases longingly the sun. Man has wings that cannot fly, but he will always seek the sky. Man has eyes that cannot see, but watch eternity. Man is lost unknowingly in danger, his own mind always a stranger. Kara of the Thunder Islands. What do you want? Cat. Come here. It is a strange dream that I will record here so that others may perhaps understand its meaning as I did. I had come to study the holy carvings in the lighthouse in the land of gods, trying to understand our heritage. As I reached out to touch some of the runes, it suddenly felt as if a warm hand passed over my eyes, and I fell asleep on the sacred stone. In my dreams, it seemed to me that the stone beneath me glowed from within, forming a staircase up into the starry sky. Far away on those steps, a golden light grew and drew close. Stars flew from the sky and became someone who had the shape of music and was gentle and sad. The god spoke to me not in words, but in memories and feelings. He warned me of a terrible greed from beyond, a void in the hearts of men. As he showed it to me, I felt it stir and, be and come between us, darkening the golden steps like a storm cloud, cold as eternity. Terrified, I cried out at the pull of this dark void, and I woke. I could not speak for three days, but I set out to the ancient temples immediately. If what I have come seen is true... The gods are alive, and they need our help, as we need theirs.
there's five. Now that there were only four. <coughs> other way went to moonside I think my controller is starting to show it's a wear and tear. When the world was still new and the creator had drawn the land, the spirit animals gathered to talk. A fox said, there are new animals around, they walk on two feet. A crane said, a new bird? The fox shook its head and said, they have no wings. The monkey said, thank you for the head pads, Jam. Hope your games are going well. Monkey said, I have seen them too. They are without fur and they cannot climb well. An owl said, they fear the night and drive it away with fire. Otter said, they build nests on the land, but they are not one with it. A deer said, they are loud and do not know how to walk the, wo the woods. Bear said, they are like cubs who do not know the way home. Fox cocked his head and said, yes, that is why we have to help them. No, can't chew on the wires, kitty. Alright. Help them? The other animals look stunned. Yes, the fox said. Their minds see eternity, and they are lost and afraid. They need something to hold on to, or they will harm themselves, the lands, and us. The fox said. What do you propose? asked the hare. I propose a pact said the fox. If one of them can talk to us, we offer him the bond with the land. The fox continued. If he accepts, he can take the shape of one of us, the one he made the pact with. 
and he will be one with the land and still see beyond the veil. He can guide and guard his people so. We all will be at peace, said the fox. The other animals saw the wisdom in this and agreed to it. And so, some humans can become one with the world, and the chosen were called whisperers. yet, so I guess I'll go this way. Hi, Cherry. Uh, I don't know. It's called Air Memories of Old. I just wanted something chill I could play because I still feel kind of sick. Yes. I am sick. I put out a tweet today. <laughs> I put out a tweet today asking how many of my AI VTubers out there have caught the computer virus. Oh, I see how this works. Okay. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. A lot of people seem to be. screwed this up but how are you how are you doing Goofed up my own streaming schedule. Keep making typos and tweets. <laughs> so slightly annoyed but alive. <coughs> you, you forget to put a link to your your own uh, Twitch channel a lot too. <laughs>
You mean you... Oh, okay. So if if Barry's sick, does that mean you guys aren't going to be streaming either for a little while? Or is it just going to be uh, cherry scuffed streams again? Solar stream bank anxiety would <laughs> do well. I mean, I feel like you would just break everything again. Only break audio set. That's enough to break. <coughs> you know, so like Barry's sick, I'm sick. Um, I know at least three other VTubers who are sick. One with full blown Corona. So it's it's just like. Twitch already thinks we're AI, apparently, <laughs> so maybe we really are and everybody's getting a computer virus. <laughs> Zero idea what they were talk thinking with that AI message. I'm I'm hoping it was a joke. Because if they're if they actually believe that, I'm I'm concerned. In the VTube community, we're just as bad as as profitable as hot tub streamers. <laughs> yeah, except for uh, v VTubers with boobas tend to get banned more often. I guess they need to get over there somehow. never understood that bit why why do all of the vtuber the booba vtubers get banned but the hot tub streams don't <laughs> you have to admit it's kind of funny that the art tag is allowed full titty but as soon as that titty moves and talks it's illegal oh who was it um i think it's i think it was nyaners yeah oh <laughs> That was the whole issue with that one. And it got even dumber when that was Twitch's excuse, but the artist actually mo like used the new model as like they actually 
used it to test it out and make sure everything is good. There was no problem there until Nyaners got it. I saw a rat. I really need some meat. So it counts as art during the test drive, I guess? I guess. Doesn't make it any less dumb. Maybe that's that. Maybe that's what Nyaner's solution is. Just tag all of her streams as art streams. Forever. Uh, okay. What am I missing? to kick you off for a little bit. Come here. Vibe aesthetic game just makes me want to uh, go replay Journey. I don't know what Journey is. Hearing that shit on PS3 and having a near religious experience. What is Journey? I know I need to get over there, but I don't know how. A funky vibey game like this, but a lot more mechanics. Maybe I'll have to look into it later. <clears throat> uh, I'll just look at it. Uh, oh, let's see. Wonder if it's on Steam. Journey. Yep, I see what you're talking about. Yeah, that's kind of neat. I like how it looks. The big pull of it is that if you play the game and someone else is playing the game in the same area, you guys will meet and be able to play together, but you can't talk. No talking, only chirps. <laughs> okay. It's kind of funny. I kind of like that though. Oh, it's kind of like uh, there's a little bit of multiplayer there. I hope the man that finished Journey with me is living his best life. Don't even know his name or if he's a dude. I don't know where I'm 
we're supposed to go. I'm... I'm pretty sure that I need to get to the... Hello? Mr. Rat? Immense urge to go download my little nostalgic Birdman game intensifies. <laughs> I don't think you can. I feel like there's missing something. Sorry, I had to blow my nose. <laughs> Did not want that on stream. Are you missing some kind of magic crystal, or have you not done a funky puzzle yet? I think I haven't done a funky puzzle yet. Oh, it told me the answer on here. Man, that would have made that easier. It was like, I got a puzzle in there that opened this and let the laser through. And then it let me turn these two on, which turned this walkway. It used to be this direction, and I made it face this direction. I'm pretty sure I need to get to that, like that shiny platform piece over there. I just don't know how. Maybe... Oh, I don't think I can turn these off. Nope. The thing is, it lets me over here. So I feel like there's something over here I'm supposed to be doing. I probably just haven't found it yet. the wrong direction. I kept trying to go that that way. There was a hole in the wall here. I knew I was supposed to get here somehow. I kept looking at this, like this platform here, because it was the only thing I could see that would reach this platform. Seems as if this door has been stuck for a very long time. I wonder if there even is anything on the other side. There we go. I was right, I just was not paying attention. Yeah, skeleton ghost people from... 
from what I understand, the the planet broke apart because of something the gods did. And the spirit animals who had been protecting the humanity, basically, led um, people into this place, which I guess the closest description I've been able, I could probably use is a safety bunker, like um, like where people go if there's a massive earthquake or great disaster or something, or a tornado shelter. But the problem is, I don't think they ever got back out. And I'm seeing their residual memories from when they were alive. Well, to be fair, considering the gods basically destroyed the Earth, um... I'm not sure how much a safety bunker will actually do in that situation. Huh. And this is apparently God, I think. Come here, little bird. A very long time ago, your people addressed me as the Twilight Guardian. <coughs> Sitting at the border of dusk and dawn, ensuring safe travel on the paths to the lands of dreams and back again. Even after the Great Divide, I was there, watching as your priestess Kara led her people to safe shores here in my temple. A long time have I waited for this moment to come. I have grown weak. But for the power I was let tethered to me to your world. Listen carefully, little bird. Once again, the void has awakened with great hunger. It's time to devour all that is left of our world. There is still a chance to stop him. The priestess Kara hid three fragments of great power, one in each temple. Oh no, this is the guardian deity who is protecting us from the evil gods. You have to make the three fragments one again. I will give you the part I was given for safekeeping. Without it, I will fade into oblivion. It has been my link to this world since the time the gods were lost to the minds of men. But we cannot wait. Please accept my fragment and finish what was started so long ago. How am I supposed to carry that around with me? Oh, it's much smaller than it looked. No, that's still pretty that's still pretty decently large. Oh, I absorb it. Apparently magic soul pockets. See, I think that's what destroyed the world. VTuber freaks out so much every time I go to take a drink of something. Eh, oh, um, the the shelter is gone. Okay. Huh. Bye bye. Yes, Thanos snapped 
safety bunker. Welcome back again, Auk. I hear your travels are easy on you. Erin is over her head and ears with joy that a real bird shifter came to visit. To the point where I'm a bit worried that she will run off somewhere on one of her expeditions. Once in the north, when we stopped for a short rest by the hot springs, she was gone in a heartbeat. I looked all over. The storm of the howling peaks was less intense back then. And it was still very cold. I found a cave near Bia. <coughs> I wanted this game because I didn't expect it to be a dialogue game. Apparently I was wrong. <laughs> I found a cave nearby and went on in to see if she had gone there. She has a certain affinity for hidden places. And it turned out the spirit bearer of the north had just recently moved in there. Aaron sat on his back, talking about everything between sun and moon. I'd be proud or worried. Well, I'm always, I always ran after, away at her age, so who am I to judge? Ah, I'm getting away all nostalgic here. Pilgrimage. Let's see. So, the next step is usually the archives. The temple in the east. The ancients built monuments and cities there, more so than in the west and the north. That has been there frequently, I know. It's said that the signs of the Great Divide were e early spotted in the East. Boy, you're looking for a vibe game with no dialogue, only chirps? I'm just thinking. <laughs> you're not raw. <laughs> yeah, I really like this game. I, I was just, uh, I was hoping for less dialogue involved. Much of the ruins have been reclaimed by the land, but just return continue to the eastern steps and it shouldn't be too hard to find. Ow. Hi Kelly, are you testing to see if it's broken again? Because it probably is. Oh no. Oh, cool. It's fixed. And I did nothing. It's just working again. How you doing, Kelly? <laughs> well, you fixed it, and I know who broke it, too. Um, <laughs> I had not set a cooldown on that originally, expecting nobody to spam it. And um, somebody came in here and spammed it, like, 50 times repeatedly. No, it wasn't you. It was somebody else. I am sick, and I hate it. <laughs> no, it wasn't you this time. I know who it was. <laughs> I had I had a decent Christmas, other than the fact that I got sick. But yes, I'm glad. It's, I'm kind of glad it's over, though. I have. I am an introvert. And the entire rest of my family is extroverts. So put put an in put an extreme introvert with an itty bitty social battery in a room with twenty extroverts who are all clingy and touchy feely. And yeah. I'm I'm about done. But it it was fun while it was there for a little bit. Much of the ruins have been reclaimed by the land, but just continue to the eastern steps and it shouldn't be too hard to find. How was your Christmas? Did you have a good time? Yeah.
Antlers of Stone achievement. That is a giant log. Lovely, thank you. Just chill. Nice to chill for a bit. Yeah. Hi, Jim. <laughs> you shaking your butt at me. <laughs> hey, hey, Jim. How many VTubers do you know who have been sick within the last month? Genuine question. Eight? <laughs> Is that counting me or not counting me? <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about, Cherry. <laughs> this is why I tweeted that earlier. I actually made a three-day poll on Twitter just to figure out how many VTubers have been sick. <laughs> because this is freaking ridiculous. <laughs> through it maybe yep okay Enjoy your lunch. Yes, but so there, there you go. <laughs> there you go, Cherry. I was not joking. <laughs> Maybe we'll pass it to you eventually. What was that? Crack of thunder louder than I've ever heard. It seemed to come from on, right? Uh, 
Well, that's a very pretty spirit fox. I like you. No, why are you doing this? The old gods are dead. His power belongs to the god king, Garuku, now. Oh. Well. That's, uh... That's not a scene I was expecting to see. The rest of these have been pretty peaceful in general. Oh, Urza, which we love lost and long for. Cities, city of cities, bright and dead. The white swan of marble raising her long neck elegantly into the purple sky. Oh, he's threatening the ghost skeletons with the ghost knife. <laughs> her eyes, a thousand souls swimming in the lake of the never-ending afternoon in the heart of spring. Her song, a million hearts praising the beauty of life undiminished and brief. A petal on the wind of fall. The white swan of marble folding her luminous wings silently in the ashen dusk never to be seen again. That looks terrifying and kind of weird too. Be not afraid. I am terrified. Is that you, Kara? No, that can't be right. Who are you? I need to get out. I am weak. It's the rock. It's not of this world. The rift, further down in the cavern. Close it. I'm some. I'm saving a spirit. Fuck. Well, um, this place is certainly more ominous than the last one. Oh goody, it's turned into a platformer game. Great. That's what I wanted. Maybe. Um, <laughs> I ha I have a random question for you, Cherry. I know we've had this discussion before. Are is you're the artist one of the two of you, right? Like you're the one who made your VTubers and stuff. Where's that Barry? Okay, that was you. I thought it was, but for some reason it was not clicking in my head the other day. But I feel like sickness messes with you. 
Um, do you like, uh, speaking of Princess Mononoke, do you like, um, the, the, like, art style of the Ghibli films? Yes and no. It tickles sometimes in my ape brain, but I could never draw in it. Too round and soft. All right. I know that's one of the things that a lot of people seem to like about that. Um, about those movies. So I was curious if you were in there too. Oven is preheating. What you gonna make, Jem? Pizza? Mmm, pizza. God, my obnoxious neighbor is home. As an art style, I could gush about the smooth movement, but it's also kind of not your preferred taste. Understandable. That's why I thought I'd ask. I know everybody has, like, their their personal preference when it comes to that kind of stuff. You, you did it. I feel much better already. Thank you. I was beginning to fear a fate where I would fade away. Roku's men took hold of my home. They wanted the magic of this place. Fought for so long, but I am just one and they were so many. At least I kept the most important secret. And it's the one you are looking for too, isn't it? I have what you need. Here, take the key. It was my task to protect it, and so I have. Thanks again, young one. I leave the rest to you now. Uh, I didn't even know you had a key. I, I was looking for the big fragment thing. Uh, I think it's a guardian. I think it's a spirit, spirit deer. Just like this is a spirit fox. Ah, my friend. What leads a bird to the east and to visit Lifla on top of that? Uh, oh, so she held the key all this time? Use it where it belongs, further east in a dash north. Close to my home to be true. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good point. So maybe, I guess, sub-guardian? Because she was holding the key to get into the place with the, with the actual guardian? Uh. Answer me this. How much, how some temples lead downwards when people look up to the sky for answers? It has eluded me for centuries, but that's fine. Humans are special creatures, to say the least. Should I be insulted by that? I think the spirit fox just called us dumb. I wasn't paying attention, I was saying it to be dear out loud to myself. 
I think the fox called humans dumb. He said he said foxes are I mean he said humans are very special creatures. I think he called us dumb. Oh, I already already got you guys. There are no brakes on this train. Wings of stone. I don't remember this place being here. All the lands drifted in the wind. We need to hurry if we want to reach someplace safe. I wish your character had some momentum crushing into the ground rather than is always landing gracefully. I mean, I overshoot the land quite often and then just fly off the other side. Does that count? I don't know if human error comes into account of animation style. Clint, at your your head is in the way again. I love you. you do, but I can't keep doing this. Right. No, Ken wants to sleep. Fans of the South are proud people, even now before the threat of the so-called God King Kuroku. They will not bow. Before the cities of Urza and On were built, many of the, their shifters chose the deer as their spear animal, a protector. But slowly, their spirits succumbed to sadness, and they blamed the gods for the darkness in the world. The darkness invited into their hearts spread further. If this is true, then so is the opposite. Existence of light, and there is hope. I am Kashar of the Eastern Isles, Islands, and the first shifter in ten generations. The spirit animal chose me, and I will fight. I will travel north to the monastery to join the other priests. There's nothing more we can do. The machine is an accident waiting to happen. We got too greedy. Apparently there was a big machine here. And it blew up.
More war. <clears throat> you know, the first the first place was pretty calm. Yeah, and this place is pretty violent. You're still cute though. Mayor, open the door. Are you just going to let these soldiers overrun your city? Stop cowering. Come out. I have a feeling that if I go up here... No? Huh. thought maybe the mayor would be up there or something. One. Gorion of the Storm Islands from his son Tazo. Father, it's with sorrow that I must tell you of the loss of the Snow Crane Library. The palace guard of the city of An came in the night, carrying weapons and shouting the name of their king, Kuroko. Kuroku. They destroyed and burned houses and scrolls alike, and would have burned us too, but we not, had we not been able to escape. We watched from a safe distance, keeping close the few precious skulls we had saved. We will journey to the monastery in the northwest to place the scrolls in its safety. Trust that it's too far away for Kuroku's wrath and too poor to excite his greed. The spirit crane will lead us until the snow line and then return home south with my letter to you. I hope he finds you well. Okie doke, go check your oven. Don't burn down the house. No, the deer is dead. I, for one, am glad that the God King is here to protect us against those southern brutes.
Well, you're the big crowd of people. God King demands change. <clears throat> A royal decree of God King Kuroku, King of Kings and God of Gods, all must bow to him, the only God. His and his alone are all the lands of the East and the land of the Gods. Bend the knee and be spared. Resist and see the last of your days. Such is the will of the God King Kuroku, now and forever. Written in the tenth year of the Heron, in his great city of own. I hate being sick. Feel like shit. here maybe that's where I'm supposed to go There are scouts report that several deposits of air have been found under the temple grounds north of here. bunnies into foxies tower has fallen. Help me search for survivors. This place looks like a giant fortress. This does not look like any place a priest would hang out. thousands we built this shrine to stand beacon and is home to the birds of these lands much as the birds did for us in ancient days they have been our friends since forever gather the lands and settle in places of soil which could sustain us we still were the tribes in the wilds we traveled with the birds as they moved trusted them to mark the moment of changes Ugh. Ugh. It taught us to be nomads and shaped us to what we became. Oh, it's a bunch of bird nests. Condor condo. 
You got an achievement for finding this. Back your thing, sister. The rumors are true. We are leaving for the west. Priestess will save, a, give us shelter. These are holy ground, not just another power source for the taking. Make a second one. Give me a second. I'm double checking something. Oh, no. That's the same one. Okay. All right. 
Oh, wow. Uh, this is dark and gloomy. How's the Western Monument coming along? Fly, I like an eagle. Dreams of the people are calm again. I hope this whole ordeal will, with the king is nothing more than an old man worrying about nothing. Kind of flowing there. We found a fortune. There are multiple pockets of air blow. Loads more than we had anticipated. The elevator isn't working yet. Who keeps turning off the main switch? I wonder what air actually is.
feast in honor of the only god, Kuroku. Forever is his reign, king of kings and soon the ruler of the known world. You have returned. Welcome back. <laughs> and what? You has pizza now, or is it still cooking? You have pizza? Oh, what kind of pizza? Pepperoni? Always a good safe choice. Classic. Ah. Is it one of those French bread ones? I almost didn't make that. No? Like a round one then? Standard frozen pizza? Ah, uh, okay. I just think of Tostino's pizza rolls then. King's men are soon here. I need to hurry. I hope the scrolls will be safe in here. When the creator made the humans, the keeper of dreams came forward and stood guard. He saw the link between the great dreamer and eternity. Sometimes fear and nightmares were born into the world, and when snatched up by human thought, they turned into horrible realities. So he prepared powerful songs of time and peace, stories to lead the nightmares astray, and he trapped them in eternal scrolls and stored them away. Horrible stories never, came, never to come true. Stored and forgotten in his halls of sleep. A 
Oh, it's inside. Oh, am I calling the elevator? I was calling you. I don't need the elevator. <laughs> I'm still so happy with those emotes. Hippo did a great job regardless of what he thinks. I need Kippo to stream again so I can use the emotes he made in his stream. Can't wait to get affiliate so you can get fancy emotes. You'll get there. Aren't you? You're pretty close, aren't you? Mm. I thought so. Guardian of Sleep. You need 12 more followers and proud viewers. Yeah, the viewers are definitely the one that I feel like probably takes the longest for a lot of people. The time has come, finally. And this marks the time for the Keeper of Dreams to wake from this daydream and to resign. How could I protect your people from the nightmares that lurk within their dreams as you cease to believe in me? I doubt you will be able to overcome the shadows that lurk in your world, little human. There is a shadow in every human as well. A shadow called emptiness. They can't be filled with power nor possessions. Shallow Mines led way- Oh, you are a gigantic scroll. I thought you were a tower. <laughs> Shallow Mines led way for the void to come into existence, eating everything away. Creator had to sacrifice himself to lock away the ravenous void, and the lands and skies were scattered- shattered in the Great Divide. Heed my word, little human. Will you be able to- Find the last fragment before the void does? For myself, I claim the deep sleep and leave my concerns to you. I am free. I am finding the Triforce! Hi, gamer. How are you doing today? I'm sick, but otherwise I'm fine. Leona! <laughs> uh, which one are you going for? Yeah, sick gang. I only have like three for 25k. No, I have two. Yep. Oh, it's not just us. I put out a Twitter post because I know so many VTubers that are sick. It's just like, I want to know how many of us VTuber AIs are sick and how many are healthy. <laughs> so I made a poll for it. Because all three of us are sick. Um, uh, one of the duo that made my banner, I just found out is sick today. Um, one of the ones that me and Jem know has COVID. Jem <laughs> says they know like another six... VTubers that are all sick. 
Oh, good. There's another one. <laughs> We're all great. We're all sick. We all we all caught the AI computer virus. <laughs> You're close enough. You have a PNG tuber. <laughs> but but I want to confirm it. If I was an AI, I wouldn't have to go to work. How do they know we were AI? <laughs> no, I don't have to work. <laughs> There's always smoke rising from the temple nowadays. I'm gonna stream today because it's my last day of my break before I go upstate. Then do it. And, and Leona, are you feeling at least a little bit better now? Hopefully. Twi Twitter, you sounded... It sounded like you were pretty darn bad. I was voice yesterday and was coughing up long. Ooh, I already hear that. You can stream with yourself. That's what I'm doing. By the way, if anybody is interested, I am attempting to get together a group for golf with friends later tonight. Many of you are still around. Uh, still not 100, but may continue collab with Stardew. Don't really know you, but if I'm free, I could stream with you. But I only have golf it friends. I love join, but what time? Uh, I'm not sure yet. My main thing was probably going to beat this game because I don't think it'll go for super long. Um, cat? Will you stop, please? I love you, but that is annoying. That is really annoying. Hi. Ow. Rude. Yes, collision's on. Um... Maybe six or seven o'clock? It kind of depends if I can get even an okay amount of people together for it. I advertised in one person's Discord because they have a looking for groups thing. Um, I think I might. I think I'm gonna ask like, what time would be, would anybody be around for it? Real quick. 
Because I feel like I was putting off the um, looking for group messages too late the last couple days. And does anyone So, so I'm advertising sometime between 5 and 7. But any, anybody here who's interested in golf with friends have a time preference. Alright. Uh, Leona, I know you said you were interested. If you're still here. I'm Ur and a guardian of the land of gods. I made this record so that my children and children's children may remember. On the day of the great divide, when our world shattered, I was still a child. I remember sitting at the white stars of the southern city of Urza. Interested, but I don't know if my body can hold out that long for a day, especially when I already have a collab later today. Oh, if, yeah, don't push yourself, Leona. I'd love for you to join. It would, I, I know it would be fun, but I'd rather you get better. I don't want you to get any more sick. That's why I'm doing just chill games today. I mean, I can't imagine that I sound very good today. <laughs> and I, I've been constantly having to mute myself just so I can go and blow my nose. I planned a journey to the west, but since the God King has waged, had waged war on our land, our city, our lands were not safe anymore. We stayed inside the city walls. God King Kuroku, he was called, had built horrible mach weapons, flying machines of raining fire. But we always thought them far away, or even empty rumors. When the bells started ringing, fire and tears mixed in a horrible rain over us. We wept and screamed to the gods to end this, but were answered by silence. Then the ground trembled. Great cracks appeared and split the white stone walls of Urza, and people fell into the black depths of the earth. Saw my loved ones disappear into the he heaving earth. When the steps beneath me broke, I fell too. And my spirit animal spoke to me, and I remembered and spread my wings. I do not know how, but I flew for a long time over broken lands and stormy clouds. I arrived at the outskirts of the land of gods, half dead, and fell unconscious on its grass. When I woke there, a priestess sat beside me, tending my wounds. She said that Urza was no more, and that the world had shattered. A god had sacrificed himself to steal away a void from our hearts. And broken the world in the process. Many had died. I am going to need to put on another sweater, I feel like. I'm getting, I'm getting shivers. Many had died, but so had the God King, and his city of An was no more. Shattered world was now at peace. I wept, and still, after many years, I weep at the memory of this day and the terrible cost of this peace. Don't bite me.
Not nice, cat. No biting. No, you're being a bad cat. Bad kitty. Next month is your one-year stream anniversary. Uh, you got a bit busy a little bit, don't you? who gave me the lantern you're nervous don't be nervous you'll be fine Again, my wandering friend, no kind of use to visit an old fox's den. Quite empty, don't you think? No, not the den, the land of gods. Not as many animals anymore, nor as many spirits. Lifla is still in her cave, it seems. The old spirit bear moves from cave to cave in the north. Hi, Attica. Attica, we're doing a survey today. How many VTubers do you know that have been sick in the last month? <laughs> Not you yet. And I'm doing all right, other than being sick, of course. I can't do anything about that, Yataka. We're we're all AI. Just you being here is exposing you to my computer virus. <laughs> <laughs> there were more ones. See? A fish in a crane. The spirit fish lives in rivers and pools around the Twilight Lake. His last gift to us is the water that never stops flowing. Without it, we would have been... Lost a long time ago in the spirit crane. She helped guide the last priestesses and pri priests and priestesses north during the Great Divide. She was hunted down by Kuroku's men as they mistook her for a swan. <laughs> Fools, as they declined, so are we declining. All we can do now is ask questions, and I have two for you. Why the Great Divide, and why you? Wander in search of answers, little wanderer. Thank you for your company. 
It was such a long time ago, but finish your quest now, or else there won't be any another time. But so how how are you doing, Yataka? What what are you up to today? Just working and working. Uh, the usual. Was I up here already? I think it was up here already. We are lost in different worlds, I without you and you without anyone. In my mind, we reach out to each other and hold our hands in the cold. Here to see again for my last hour of work. Well, I appreciate it. It's not the most exciting stream <coughs> because I just want to chill while I'm sick, but I hope you, uh, you enjoy it. In my mind, we reach out to each other and hold hands in the cold, but as the statues are chained to the walls, so are our souls to life and to death. Thurida, I don't know where you are, but your memory will forever roam the halls of my heart. Yeah, for sure. We need to bring you hot tea. If only I liked hot tea. Uh, no, I, I think I'm gonna just stick with water. <laughs> I think Frozen would have the opposite effect, Yataka. Dogs of on. Lands are breaking apart. Yeah, uh, closest thing to yeah, I really like would be like super sweetened, probably milk tea. Yeah, I like hot cocoa. I have some hot cocoa actually. Cat? No. Okay, we're not doing this today. I love you guys. <laughs> I really do, but I can't. I can't today. I really can't. Alright. We can cuddle later, alright? You mind? I feel like you would never give them back. 
unfortunately. So no, you're not allowed to have the kitties. Just ahead, we are almost there. <laughs> I like that emote, Yataka. <laughs> it's so it's so funny. So many uses too. An animated version of it that I never upload. <laughs> you should. The blue gray just just slides down. Gaze into the abyss achievement. <laughs> I don't want to gaze into the abyss. You have too many anime <laughs> slots you have. Please so swap them out. Uh, I actually think I, um, I think I hit 15 subs to unlock another emote slot right before one expired, <laughs> like on the same day. So I might have unlocked another slot, but I still haven't finished the ones I already had. Why did your, why did your, your badges go away? Is that on my end? And now they're back. Did you? Okay, so it wasn't just me. Very confused for a second. Uh, give me one second, I'll be right back.
Okay, that happened to me the other day. Larkstream 2, she's a witch burner. You know, her symbol the work. <laughs> yeah, no, yours went away, Commander. <laughs> but welcome in. I hope you're doing all right. Sorry, I think I think I, one of my cats might have cut me without me realizing it. Um, as I went to go scratch something that felt itchy and a little bit of blood came away and it kind of hurt. So I wanted to go wash it off. Love gazed at the false sky, but she will not know me. Took her hand and said her name, but her mind was empty. Hear that it's the doing of the hungry star. It has stolen her soul. Followers say it's a new god, and she is part of it now. Priestess of the old god said that her soul is lost forever. Do I want to believe this? We will try to close the rift it has opened to our world, but all those who wander on the other side will never come back. Her name was Sarita. I think that Commander is not a witch. You just cursed him. Yeah. Yeah, like it's placing curses on people. So it's bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> uh, I wish I could do that. Eve, the God King demands more rocks for his mechanical beasts, and it's your heads if he doesn't get them. How could this happen twice? Once, when the gods were still awake. Some animals gathered to talk. A hare said the grass is not as green as it was. A hare said the honey does not flow as it used to. The wolf said there are less deer to hunt. And the deer said, well, I do my best. <laughs> the eagle said the lands have become smaller. The crane said the humans write less and argue more. Nell said, there is a darkness deeper than the night, and it grows. At this, the other animals fell silent, and the wind howled around them. Praise the spirits of the lands, the souls shining through the veil as pale stars, and the animals walking the earth in daylight. Remember the gods that once guarded the lands. May they find a new home amidst the stars. Sing the great dreamer that sleeps in eternity. May she dream of good times forever and ever. 
The kindly spirit kindly touched the stone. May it guide our people with the wisdom of the priestess. Then and now. Time to face facts. The God King is here to stay. Better to bend a knee than to lose a head. It really is. I'm enjoying it. Hey Mo! Keeps these lights. I wonder if anyone has taken shelter in this cave. I mean, to be fair, most of them I find from either other streamers or they're just free games. Oh, Yataka, if you want a a game with some funny little things added into it, uh, look up a game called No Place Like Home. Thank you for the sub, Commander. <laughs> and now I have to do a bean boozle. Uh, yeah, No Place Like Home. You know, to be fair, this is not a bad time to uh, try Bean Boozle. Um, because I probably won't be able to taste it. <laughs> uh, coconut or spoiled milk? You have a lot of hype emotes. Yeah. Well, I was partially right. <laughs> it was bland, but I'm pretty sure it was spoiled milk. Yeah, that, that probably. I've never had cottage cheese just because the idea of it grosses me out, but probably pretty close. I think I liked it as a kid the few times I tried it, but now I don't even want to try it. Yeah, my mom always really liked cottage cheese. Cat, I told you, I'm not in the mood today. I'm really not. I love you, and we can cuddle on the couch later. Couch cuddles are fine, but not right now. Yeah, there, there's a couple of things I remember that I was told I really liked when I was a kid, but just the idea of eating them now is gross. 
Wait, I hate them now. Wait, I was told that when I was a kid, I liked supreme pizza with anchovies, mushrooms, and olives. I can't stand the smell of anchovies. I don't like olives, and the texture of mushrooms is is just weird. I don't like the sliminess. I too much craft mac and cheese, so I really don't want it anymore. Other mac and cheese is fine. I get that. That's the key. Do I need that? Also, I think we had chicken pot pies too often. And the smell I can't even stand. Some kind of specific crust smell. <laughs> That's a, that's an interesting one. <laughs> like, would you be fine if it was just the filling from chicken pot pie? See what I gotta do. I have to break the ice up there. With sound. Oh, probably. Yeah, because I found um I found a recipe which is it's for crock pot uh chicken pot pie. But it doesn't have any crust. You're supposed to put it over, um, like, uh, English muffins or something instead. So kind of treat it like, uh, biscuits and gravy. <laughs> it was really good. Super simple to make and everything. It made a lot, though, so I kind of ended up throwing some of it out. If you took the pot pie filling and put in some dumplings or something, it would be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's start whatever frozen shit my mom cooked. I can just remember it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had that problem at one of my first jobs. Um... Actually, a pre two of my previous jobs. Uh, I worked at McDonald's as one of the line cooks. And I'm fine with, like, the real stuff. But, like, those fake 10th uh, quarter patty, frozen patties or something like that from McDonald's. The smell of those makes me gag. Um... 
and uh, bagels. Bagels, I'm not thrilled about the smell of anymore. Yeah, well, let's put it this way. Fresh cooked bagels, I don't like the smell of. If it's the packaged stuff from the grocery store, I'm okay with those. Cat? I really can't. I can't today. Welcome back, Yataka. Hold on. I had to blow my nose again. <laughs> no, see, I... One of my previous jobs was the a bagel cook. <laughs> I worked at a bagel place, and I was the one who was responsible for cooking the bagels. So the, the smell of fresh cooked bagels makes... It, I can't stand it anymore. I'm still... I'm fine with, like, bagels... But just that fresh cooked smell is... I don't like it. Oh. Friend, the little wanderer. Found her way to the far north. Aren't you cold? You and I can feel the chill through my fur. Might be the hot-bloodedness of humans. Well, at least you made the air shimmer in here. That's so many traumatic cat. Had too many traumatic experiences around hot dogs. Not just the cooking side of it. How do you have how do you have a traumatic experience around hot dogs? Stars found in the roof of the world, where the air is crisp and clear, and storm never reach. Key in the ice to break ice once more. Go west. Go north. Don't freeze to death as other creatures before you. I'm puked up hot dog at my job. I'm a br Ew! Yeah. No. That's gross. Um, my dad will not eat hot dogs anymore because when, apparently when he was a kid, he was made to watch a video on how they were made. This way. It's a northwest, right? Oh, yeah, okay. Huh. Oh, there it is. You. Um, I have a traumatic birthday story, and it, uh, equates as to why I don't like, uh, bowling alleys anymore. Uh, when I was in grade school, I had a bowling alley birthday party, and I had a bunch of friends over. And one of them had, their parents had brought their little sister with them. I don't remember the little sister's age, but it was still in a high chair. Um, couldn't really walk on its own. I think it still could crawl. 
Uh, but their mom put down a hot cup of coffee too close to their little sister in their high chair. And the sister pulled the cup of coffee and spilled it all over themselves. Brand new, freshly brewed, piping hot cup of coffee. So in the middle of my birthday party, it we had to cancel my birthday party and call an ambulance after uh, getting a bag of ice from the kitchen, the bowling alley kitchen, and putting it all over the sister's stomach and rushed her to the hospital. So my birthday party ended early. Yeah. So I'm not thrilled about bowling alleys anymore for obvious reasons. My, my mom keeps trying to invite me to go bowling again, and it's like, I, I don't really want to go. <laughs> hey, VR bowling is an entirely different story. We're not really there. Nobody can injure themselves. Well... I guess that's not entirely true. Um, I I know somebody who injured themselves in VR, and uh, is still injured and has their arm in a sling because they like ripped open their hand and it was pouring blood all over their living room. I don't know. Apparently, I think they were doing Beat Saber. And, um... They, they felt their hand hit their desk or something. But it didn't register until they took off their headset. And they had this giant, like, gouge on their arm and had, like, sprained their wrist or something like that. So they're they've been in a sling for a couple weeks already. <laughs> you don't see anything. Do I have to oh I have to turn the light. Yeah. I just got my vibe years ago. I had my whole living room freed up. Even then, I would be careful about moving around too much. Yeah. I have about a... Four foot by four foot square in my main computer room for VR. <laughs> I keep telling myself I need to get it set up in the living room. That's why I don't do, like, the the crazy hyper-movement ones or anything. Really. Yeah. There's a reason I haven't done Beat Saber in a while. In the beginning, there was the dreamer, asleep in cold eternity. She dreamed all there is. <laughs> she dreamed a veil, and behind the veil, she dreamed the creator in the world, modeled from a memory of home. Yeah, mine only works wired, so I don't even have a choice. 
but I have a computer in my living room as well. So I could set it up in there. I've just been too lazy to. The creator danced into the world and there he breathed the clouds and sang the sun and moon into being. As he danced between the clouds, he took four steps and so made the lands of the north, the west, the south, and the east. Then he formed the mountains and filled the seas with water from the clouds. And from the earth and water he made animals so land and sea would be alive. Can't stop in my living room, too many family members, I just have to find random space. Yeah, I thankfully have a full house. I'm just too lazy to move stuff. <laughs> the only thing I'd have to worry about in my living room is stepping on my cat. Which I've done before. <laughs> because sometimes I leave the door open to this room and they don't seem to want to listen. When I was alone in my house, now kids, toys, and shit everywhere. <laughs> Start us an attorney, he made gods to walk the lands and look after the world. One day, I'm probably moving in with my boyfriend this year, so we will get to dedicate some space for me. Ah, uh, yeah, I want to get when I when I finally move and get into the house, like I want to make my forever house. I want a basement, and I'm going to turn my basement just into my nerd stream cave. I'll get to hang up all my nerdy posters, set up all my computer stuff, have a dedicated VR space. <laughs> your brother did that to your parents' house. I never think of basement because it's such a foreign thing in Florida. True. From Stardust and Eternity, he made gods to walk the lands and look after the world. Mm. Yeah, there's basements here. I just couldn't afford it when I got my first house. basement but his house was built in 1820s it's not a usable basement wow yeah this one. Oh. Do I have to... Okay. I didn't see that there. Everything in Florida was still swamped that long ago. <laughs> Cat, we're not doing this. Still got the original wooden staircase and had metal cabinets in the kitchen. 
something that they just replaced in a claw foot bathtub. <laughs> My, uh, one of my aunts actually purposely got a clawfoot bathtub installed in their house. Yeah, there we go. When the creator made the world, he woke the gods to care for it. First swam the watcher of the veil high in the skies. A mighty guardian against the black cold endlessness, forever singing soothing songs to the great dreamer, lest she waken from the dream of our world. I have a feeling I'm going to have to go back down there and make other patterns, but... I know. Oh, I don't like the looks of this. Oh cool, I got it. That is that was not as bad as I was expecting.
Oh, there's a quick shortcut back down the stairs. I'm assuming I can't jump through here, correct? Correct. This is gonna be fun. Too bad I don't have an actual toboggan. We. <laughs> Oop. Entrance gate is frozen shut. There is no leaving now. Oh, uh, okay. They're gonna make me do it again. Uh, I believe it's this one. And then... This one. And then this one. I need to get up there somehow. Text message. Get down, get down. Go the other way. Did I go up there? Oh, I can't yet. was that okay that was weird oh uh, let's let's see if that works again again I'm not I'm not sure what happened but I'm not sure if this is how I'm supposed to be doing this, but whatever. No complaints from me.
Isn't breaking the game so fun? I mean, that's all Bethesda games do. <laughs> oh, uh, Yataka, I saw a YouTube video earlier. Um, there is, there are some Nuzlocke, like, streamers out there. Like, that's all they do. And two of them were doing a, um, the two-player Nuzlocke thing. Like, you catch one Pokemon each and they're linked together. So if yours dies, the other guy's died. And one of them had a Cub Chew. And every time he tried to evolve it, his game crashed. The 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 evolved form of the Cub Chew, that, that glacial bear Pokemon, caused his game to crash every single time. He even traded it to the other guy, had the other guy evolve it for him, and send it back to him. And it wouldn't show up in the uh, his Pokédex. So what he did is he went out and caught a Pokémon that's next to it in the Pokédex to see what would happen. And as soon as he did, and it tried to correct the Pokédex, his game crashed again. So the act of having that Pokémon's specific entry in the Pokédex was crashing his game. So he was no longer allowed to catch any Pokemon near that one in the Pokedex. And it got rid of every raid in his game, so he couldn't do raid fights anymore either. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? That is a horribly stupid, ridiculous glitch. I mean, they still finished it, but his game was completely and utterly broken. How am I not falling through this? Yeah, so if he ever wants to, like, complete the Pokédex or something on that file, he has to restart the game. Like, he has to delete the game off of his system and restart it all over again from scratch because that file itself is corrupted completely. Cookie and I plan to do a soul link at some point. Hope that doesn't happen to us. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Though, to be fair, it would also be hilarious if it did. Don't eat me, Mr. Whale. I'm closer, little champion. I won't ruffle your feathers. I am the Watcher of the Veil. I guard this place from eternity. But I have spent many years trying to close the rifts that threaten this world. Now, without the faith of your kind, my powers are almost gone. There isn't much left of the first dream of the Great Dreamer. The dream we call our home. Did you know that the first dream brought forth the Creator? His only weakness was his tender spot for your kind, little human. To create you, he linked his heart to yours, but your hearts grew empty. Shocked by the emptiness dwelling in himself, the creator ripped the void out of his heart. But time changes many things, and a new little champion stands before me, a human one even. I like that one. I like this, this, uh, this guardian. Just like his art style, his appearance. Listen now, champion. These are my last words. This is the last fragment of the three Kara left in our care. There's only one step left now. Turn the three fragments to the lighthouse in the very south. Where your pe people have built a camp, it will show you what's next. It all rests upon your shoulders now, little champion.
And he disappears in a firework. That's kind of cool. Oh, I can see it now. That thing is freaky. No, 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 don't touch me. Bad cat. I am stuck. There we go. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I made a joke about the Triforce earlier, that really does look an awfully like something similar to something you would find in Legend of Zelda.
Yeah, just like that, that medallion thing. I hope this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Yep, okay. We got an achievement called Cartographer. Assuming that means I've uncovered the entire map. No, pick up the lantern. Uh oh. Oh, is the lantern gonna save me? Fine, work is done. I'll try and look a little later. All right. Thank you for the hanging out, Yataka. Fuck, wait, listen to me. Do you know me? I am Kara. Time is short, but I'll try to explain. You are of my blood. Once, the creator infused me with some of his light, his hope and his dreams, his power, at the time of the Great Divide. <laughs> this power is yours too, Auk. It has saved you from the Void's touch. He is stronger here, however. I will shield you for as long as I can, but we don't have much time left. Time. We're about to enter the prison of the void. This prison is outside our world, and there I cannot help you at all. Follow me. watching you. You understand, Auk? I am a memory of my old self, and now that I have left the lantern, I will soon fade away. I can only speak to you here and now. There is no turning back. This is the only chance we have. People of the sky closed their hearts to the void, but it was not enough. He has almost broken free pr from his prison. You can't stop him from devouring our world, not without you. You can put an end to what was started so long ago. I'm sorry, there are so many things I want to tell you. So many things I would like to ask you. But we don't have the time. These last steps are not for me to wonder. It's up to you now. It's up to what you really are. This door leads to a realm in between our world and eternity. This is where you will find the void. You must finish what the creator started and make whole what was shattered. I know you can do it, Ock. This is goodbye, I'm afraid. I will watch over you with all the might I have left in me. I believe in you.
Oh, now I have glowing tattoos. That's not cool, Cat. No, that way too expensive for me. Oh, you're you're not freaky at all. Nope. Everything's all right here. Wait, that was it? The ending is me touching hands? Um, a little anticlimactic, don't you think? Giant stone monster god tries to squash me and we end it just by touching each other.
Hmm. I'm kind of let down by the end of that. To be completely honest, I'm kind of... It, the ending was kind of a letdown. It was a good game, though. Nice, nice chill game. No problem about that. The ending was kind of a letdown, though. 